Now I'm going to see this movie, Beauty and the Beast. And it's going to be so awesome. And that's where my mom listened to sort of like an operetta. Hi, welcome to Michael's Adventures. I'm Michael. Today, my mom and I are going to see two movies again for the third time. This time it's Beauty and the Beast, Behind Me, and Me the Boss Baby. So, if you're a Donald Trump fan, prepare to have your favorite president roasted. And I hope Donald Trump has a good sense of humor because what I'm going to spout about him it's not meant to be harmful, but as a joke. So, this is what my mom is going to see. Beauty and the Beast. Here's a fun fact. Did you know the one in the yellow played Hermione Granger? I loved her on Harry Potter. And over there is Olaf. And also, did you know that from OSHA Talking Mushrooms, that's what the daughter wanted to see and she even had hair like Emma Watson's and that's what I'm going to see again Alec Baldwin is the boss baby arriving Last Friday. Yeah. I'm going to see how Donald Trump became... I mean, Donald Trump the early years. That's what I would end up calling it. Because you're fired. So yeah, I'm going to be in the movie theater right now. Here's one of the movies that I would not be interested in seeing. <sighs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. May 19th. Oh, I'm full of eyes. See, they have um, the unnamed pig. I mean, I'm not taking that franchise way too seriously because I know some of you guys like this movie and I respect your opinion. I mean, I don't understand why um, Darwin Movie Kids. Enjoyable. I mean, it's funny, yes. I'm sorry for the pregnant pause. What they did was they took out the original cast because Zachary Gordon, the original actor for Greg Heffley, 
Robert Bowers, the actor of Rally Jefferson. And Peyton List is Greg's girlfriend, Holly Hills. They're going into high school. Not middle school. Hold on. Good music came from Theater 11, my mom's theater. Done. Sounded kind of like opera. And opera is one of my favorite genres of music. But I'm going to consider turning down gymnastics as my biggest mistake ever. So yeah, I saw the boss baby and I thought it's kind of okay. And one good thing is that if you want to see a baby picture of Donald Trump, do not go on Wikipedia. Just Google the boss baby. Bada bing. Bada boom. Yeah. Now I'm going to see this movie Beauty and the Beast. And. It's going to be so awesome. Yeah. And that's where my mom listened to sort of like an operetta. I may be done with my teaching profession which is okay because because my teaching professor, Dr. Kwong, told me that she can't be a great electrician. So if she wants to find out what I would like to do for a living, I would just tell her there's a clue it's up there. She may be wondering, what, uh, marketer? No. It's what the girl is. It's sort of like a reporter. So that was Beauty and the Beast and the Boss Baby. Double feature. And which movie do you think is better? That's a YouTube question. My opinion, both movies are good, but I'm leaning towards Beauty and the Beast. Because I like the music scores. And the musical number. I'm sure Walt Disney 
is looking down and notice that Beauty and the Beast was a major, major success. I'm Michaels. That's all for this edition of Michaels Adventures. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Michaels Adventures. Thanks for watching. Bye!